Hi everybody, it's Linda. I am back to flip through my two completed little squirrel journals. Uh, so much fun to make. I really had fun with these. Uh, they are really nearly identical, but I will go through each one of them. They are listed now in my Etsy shop and they're just listed as journal one and journal two, the squirrel journals. So, um, not much difference. They are a little cutie style, made from a paper bag that is covered on both sides with fabric. I also put this wonderful fabric on the spine here. This is a favorite fabric of mine that was given to me by a dear friend, and I've uh, not used it for a long time because I've just been saving it, but it's so perfect for these journals. And then this is a bit of, I think it's a homespun fabric there this brown plaid. And then I created this topper with some corrugated cardboard that I distressed and painted and used this adorable image on the top. It's a little squirrel storybook cover. And I used images from my stash mostly. I think I might have used a couple of digitals, but I have lots of greeting cards and images that I've had for years that I used for this journal. Kind of the same way I did for the coffee journals that I just did. And then I also put some some leaves here under the cover, under the topper. It is um, closed with eyelets and seam binding. And I created a little pocket here in the front that has a library card. And then this is the, uh, it's a patchwork type of fabric in the front here that's covering the inside of the book. Okay, so some scrap, fall scrapbook paper there. And this is one of my greeting card images that I made into a journal card using a, um, oh, what do you call it? A little, um, oh boy, the words are gone. Um, you know, one of those. <laughs> Holy smokes, okay, they'll come back to me. And some coffee dyed paper, and this sweet little image. This is from a children's book. That's so cute. And I created a, a little belly band here with some vintage trim and some of the fabric and a vintage button. This backside, this little squirrel image is actually from a digital that I'll credit in the description box. And I just added a little uh, bit of a decoration up there in the top. I love the way he peeks out of the pocket there. Oh, we got a little... There we go. This is a digital as well. And this sweet little photocopy of a very vintage button card. And then I just tucked some goodies into the pocket. Coffee dyed Rolodex, some vintage SNH green stamps, and a painted tag. All right, some vintage children's ledger. Not vintage, just children's ledger. And some mulberry paper, a little painted doily. Did a little bit of stenciling here. Coffee dyed paper. This little envelope, it's actually um, a paper bag that was sewn into the signature. And inside of it, I put some really cute little postage stamps of squirrels. Really adorable little images. So they are inside of the little bag here. You can use them to decorate with or whatever you'd like. Put this little clip on here to keep it closed. And then this cute little faux stamp is a squirrel carrying a, an acorn that's bigger than he is. Okay, I love this image. The squirrel holding his little sun umbrella. And then I just made this fun little tag with some things that were sitting on my desk. A little paint chip and 
a little um, embellishment with some metal and chipboard and a bit of ribbon. I just thought that was kind of fun. Okay. This is the center of the signature. In journal one, it's got the acorns. And then I, I will also show you, these are really fun. A uh, squirrel and an acorn with some beads and a little beaded a flower and a leaf and some more little seed beads. And I love him. It's a little tuck spot there. And inside I put this recipe for squirrel chow mix. It's a little sweet and peanut buttery snack mix. I thought that might be a fun, fun thing to make. And this little other side of this paper bag here, I used this squirrel rubber stamp and inside is some pumpkin decaf, pumpkin spice decaf tea. And this little decorative paper clip holding it closed. And this is a fabric flip with two Liberty of London fabrics and this adorable little squirrel. And a, there's a bulb pin here that says made with love. And this sideways belly band here with this wonderful whiskey frisky hippity hop up he goes to the treetop little squirrel poem from a children's book. And this belly band is um, a ruffle made from brown paper and a little acorn and some little Liberty of London fabric there. And this is a guy, this little guy is from a vintage um, greeting card that I have. Here's the whole thing in a nutshell. And then the very back is the pocket of the, or the opening of the envelope. And then you will also get a package of off cuts and goodies for decorating as well. So this is squirrel journal number one. Let's take a look at squirrel journal number two. It's very similar, so we'll go through it quickly. Identical cover, identical charms on the signatures. Okay, let's get in, get in the middle here. Index card. <laughs> That was the word that was totally lost to me, but this was made on an index card. Holy cow, isn't that crazy when that happens? You just com completely lose a word. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty, and then this sweet little image, belly band. These were so much fun to work on. This little painted tag is a little different on this one, but otherwise, still a Rolodex, coffee stained Rolodex and some SNH green stamps in this little pocket that was a photocopy of a vintage button card. This is the envelope that has the postage stamps in it. The same four little squirrel postage stamps. And this tag is nearly identical, just a different number on this little um, embellishment here, but it's otherwise the same autumn enchantment paint chip 
with ribbon and this adorable, I love him, that little squirrel holding his umbrella. And then this is a little different scrapbook paper that's in the center of this signature. Squirrel chow mix. This cute little squirrel tuck spot here. And this is the decaf pumpkin spice tea mix or tea bag in this little, the back side of this little paper bag. And the fabric flip with the two Liberty of London's and just a little piece of this um, fabric with the squirrel on it. Had all kinds of woodland animals on this fabric, so I just found a little piece that had a squirrel. And then this sideways belly band here with the children's book illustration and poem. It's a little stray piece of tool there. Okay. And this cute little guy. And then the back pocket. And also, as I said, they will each come with their own little, little baggie of goodies. And this is my squirrel journal number two. Squirrel Journal number one. They are both listed in my Etsy shop, Joyful Makes and Finds, and I am working on owl journals now. Another fun, fun thing, and the, the color scheme is a little different, and it's really something I'm enjoying, so I will uh, give you a little sneak peek of those soon. And for now, I appreciate you taking, taking the time to watch. Please leave my video a like if you have a minute and uh, a comment, which I always love your feedback and, um, and your comments. And I appreciate you so very much. If you haven't subscribed, I welcome you to do that. And I will see you very soon. Bye-bye.